Well, now we have a numerical example, and this numerical example is to uh, test your understanding and practical implications of having uh, asymmetrical faults in the uh, in the impedance protection or distance protection relays. Okay, and let let's start with this very basic numerical example. And let's consider this small transmission line, okay? This is a, okay, I know that my people from the protection wall, they probably, they will complain, no, no, 13.8 uh, kb is distribution, okay? And for distribution, we don't use typically uh, um, distance protection. But this case we are doing is just a very basic, uh, a very basic um, academic and pedagogical uh, example, okay? Let's consider this system, let's say is 13.8 um, uh, kV. And that, that transmission line is connected between bus bar A and B. And we know the positive sequence and the negative is equal to the positive, and they are, uh, there is a there is a a, a zero sequence uh, uh, impedance over here. Okay. Then we have a source, and there is the uh, data for this source. We have the positive, the negative, and zero sequence uh, impedance. Okay. Then what we want to do is okay. We want to verify the calculations uh, for three phase, face-to-face uh, -phase and face-to-ground faults. Okay, what does it mean verify the distance calculation? What we want to do is uh, okay. Uh, uh, we have some voltage and current uh, uh, transformers installed in the network in the three-phase system, and we want to see what is the appropriate, what is the appropriate impedance that the relay is is looking. Okay, let's let's start with the most simple case. The most simple case is we are using we are assuming a three-phase fault. And all my clever students from power system analysis must remember that if we are using a three-phase fault, what we need to do is using only the positive sequence, okay? And for that reason, uh, uh, we will divide the voltage by the total series impedance here, and that is the positive sequence coming from the source plus the positive sequence impedance coming from the line. We divide that, but we need to care be careful, okay? Because 13.8 kb, that is the line-to-line -line voltage, and we need to divide by a square root three because we are using the single phase equivalent model, okay? In this case, it's extremely simple. We can obtain here the current directly, 176, 176 uh, amps, okay? And now what we need to do, what we need to do is, okay, let me obtain what is, what is the, uh, what is the voltage at the terminals of the relay, okay? We can do it in this way multiplying the positive, uh, the, the current multiplying by the positive sequence impedance of the line, or we can do it on the other way. I use the other side using Kirchhoff voltage law, and we obtain over here 7,089 volts, okay? And if we are using relays, uh, the relay is looking into the ratio between voltage at the relay location, yes, and divide by the current at the um, at the relay location, okay? In the previous slide, we have here the voltage at the relay location. We have the current that is at the relay location. The ratio gives us 4 plus 4Tj. If we look back over here, uh, it's properly working. The relay will see the total impedance of this transmission line that is 4 plus 40J, okay? Let's go for the second case. The second case, we have a line-to-line -line fault 
and all my students, the clever students coming from power system analysis, they must remember the short circuit analysis. And the short circuit analysis say that for a, a, a line to line fold, we use the positive and negative sequence in parallel. And you must remember this beautiful equation over here, okay? This is the total, this is the total impedance, Thevenin impedance in the positive sequence, plus the total impedance in negative sequence. What is the good news here? The good news here is that uh, negative sequence and positive sequence, they are the same. When we put together the numbers, we obtain the positive sequence over here, and that is 88.17 uh, amps, okay? Now, uh, zero sequence and negative sequence, they are extremely simple. They are not zero sequence currents because for the line to line fold, they are not connection to ground or neutral. Zero for zero sequence uh, currents and the post and the negative, the negative sequence is minus the positive sequence. That is the reason that you can see a rotation of 180 degrees here. Okay. What I did then is using the classical symmetrical components. I mean, ABC component is equal to the matrix A multiplied by the symmetrical components. And voila, we got the result here for phase A, B, and C, okay? There are no surprises here. First, the phase A current is equal zero. That is something that we know because there is nothing connected over there. And the current B and C, as you can see, they are 180 degrees between them because you, you must remember from the line to line fold, the current B is equal minus current C, okay? Now what I will do is something extremely important, okay? The distance relay work with the ratio between voltage and currents, okay? And those voltage and currents, they are coming from transformer measurements and those instruments transformer, they are located at the relay installation, okay? What I will do now is using just basic symmetrical components in order to calculate the positive, negative, and zero sequence voltage at the relay, at the relay location, okay? If you look over here, we got um, the positive, negative, and zero sequence at the relay location, okay? And then, again, what we are using is basic properties from com uh, symmetrical components, and now we are calculating the ABC vector like the matrix A multiplied by the symmetrical components, okay? When we put the number together, voila, we get over here the voltage at phase A, phase B, and phase C, okay? Now, what we will do is the following. In the previous section, I demonstrate I demonstrate to you that there is a relationship when we have a line-to-line uh, when we have a line to line fault. And the impedance is calculated like the difference between the voltage at the relay location, phase V and C, the difference between them, divided by the currents B and C. What is the good news? The good news is in the previous slide, I have here current B and C. And in this slide, I have the voltage B and C at the relay location, when we put the number together in this beautiful equation over there, what is the surprise? That the relay is looking to four ohms, that is the resistive component, and 40J for the reactive component. And there are no surprises because over here, as you can see, the positive sequence of this transmission line is four plus 40J. That means that this result over here is demonstrating that using the previous formula, I can obtain the positive sequence impedance uh, of the transmission line when there is a line to line fault, okay? Well, the next step, the next step is uh, what's happen if we have a face to ground fault, okay? 
And well, if we have a three-phase system and there is a, a line to ground fault, uh, we need to use uh, symmetrical components. And all my students from power system analysis, my clever students, they must remember that the three symmetrical uh, networks, the three sequence networks, positive, negative, and zero, they must be connected in series, okay? They must be connected in series. As a consequence, the positive, negative, and zero sequence, they have the same value. But what is the value? Well, using very basic circuit analysis, voltage divided by the total impedance, that will give me the positive sequence uh, component. The good news here is we have positive, negative, zero component from the line, positive, negative sequence from the source. When we put the number together, you can see over there that we get that the positive sequence magnitude positive sequence current magnitude is 41.74 amps, okay? And that is really important because also you can demonstrate negative sequence and, and zero sequence, they have the same value, okay? Positive, negative, and zero sequence, they have the same value. But now we have positive, negative, zero sequence. I love... Uh, uh, symmetrical components uh, and sequence um, currents, but we need ABC. And for calculations, we use the classical uh, symmetrical component theory and ABC quantities are equal to uh, the matrix A multiplied by this vector over here, including the whole set of symmetrical components, zero positive and negative uh, sequence, okay? When we put the number together, oh, wow, we obtain B and C currents are equal to zero. Currents on phase C equal to current in phase B equal zero. And that is a result that all my students, they can realize that you are ensuring this is a single, single line to ground, okay? Because the only current moving in that system in this case is the phase A, 125.24, and that is the uh, current magnitude, okay? What is the next step? Well, we are interested on distance relay. Distance relay use voltage and current um, transformers, and I need to know what is the voltage at the relay location. And again, what I will do is use the magical properties from the uh, symmetrical components. In this case, I am using Kirchhoff voltage law. And using Kirchhoff voltage law, what I will do is, okay, let me obtain, let me obtain what is what is the uh, voltage in phase. What is the voltage in the uh, voltage at phase A, okay? Um, here we have, we have uh, the sy symmetrical components of the voltage at the relay location. And using symmetrical components, I can obtain the voltage at the uh, phase A voltage at the relay location, okay? But the next step is probably the sensible one, okay? Because in this case, we are working with a phase, uh, a fault that is uh, aligned to ground, okay? Aligned to ground faults, uh, in the previous video, in the previous class, I teach you that, that um, I, I, I told you that, that um, the current must be compensated, okay? Because when we have a, a line to ground fault, the the zero sequence component and the positive comp uh, uh, the positive impedance components they 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 interact and they modify the currents. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that in the previous class we introduced the zero sequence current compensation factor. You must remember this equation over here. This is the definition for the zero sequence current compensation, okay? And this, what this, what this element is doing 
is calculating here the factor k, like the difference between zero and positive sequence divided by the uh, positive sequence. This is equivalent to a ratio of the difference between the zero and positive sequence impedances, okay? And then we will use that zero sequence current compensation factor in order to correct the current that we already obtained for the phase A, okay? What I am saying is that the compensated current will be the zero sequence current, the zero sequence current multiplied by the uh, zero sequence compensation factor, and you will add that to the full current that we already calculate, okay? Doing so, I obtained the number here. This is this is the compensated current. This is the current including the effect of the single line to ground fault and the zero sequence components. And over here, what you get over there when you calculate the ratio between the voltage at the location of the relay divided by the compensate current, what is the very good news over here? The very good news over here is that in this case, we obtain that the ratio between the voltage at the, uh, at the uh, relay location and the compensated current, we obtain over here four ohms plus 40J. And you must remember, because we already did this several times, that is the positive sequence impedance of this uh, transmission line. What I'm trying to say is, today, with this example, I demonstrate, numerically demonstrate to you, that if we are using the proper equations and relationships between voltages and currents, we can make the distant relay to see the positive sequence impedance of the transmission line. And that is very important because we will use the positive sequence impedance in order to define the settings of the distance relay, okay?